going to be a hard task. We've got to come in being willing to be focused on our scouting report, playing personnel, knowing that she's a great, you know, rebounder and being able to go in and box her out on every on every play, you know, not taking any possessions off, just going at her hard. I would definitely say their transition game and their rebounding, you know, they got um, Brillin inside, Shauna McKenzie does a good job on the boards, and you got DeGraffin Reed and Lucas get out and transition. I would say those two areas are the big main parts for us. They pressure the ball, you know, they got great defense, long defenders, they have everything. I mean, we just got to come in and practice playing hard. You know, you can't take practice off and think you're going to go in a game and turn it on like that. It doesn't work like that. So just going in and working hard and practicing, it, it, will, come, it will come to you in the game. And it's always good to have those fans there, you know, knowing they're there to support you. I mean, now that we're winning, it's, it's kind of good to know that they're there. So it kind of gets us hyped before games. Instead of having a dead crowd out there, it's kind of hard to come out with that spark. But having the fans with us brings a lot. The last couple of games, they've really caught fire to the old Carolina teams that you remember in terms of those 23 rebounding um, performances. We've had some great ones, but we're a very balanced team. We're going to have to rebound against their threes, fours, and fives the entire game. They switch all these screens. They're very help-oriented in their defense. They know exactly who they are. They want to create way more possessions than we want in the game. If you um, turn the ball over 20 times in the first half and you still win, that tells you that there's a tremendous amount of possessions to make up for that. And we want to keep the possessions down. They're going to want to keep them up, so it's going to be a battle of whose game gets played. And against Maryland, a credit to them, we played their game, and they won it. We have to play our game on Friday night. Every year they're tremendous on the boards, and when you can go and rebound 23 by yourself against Duke, uh, you're pretty athletic and, and has, has a lot of energy going to the board. So uh, I know it's going to be um, a challenge, but you know we're, we're up for the challenge. We're excited about the game. Well, we've got to get back in transition. They, they send two guards in transition all the time, uh, so we've got to do that and still maintain our aggressiveness on the offensive boards. So there's a, there's a bit of a, of a shift there um, for our mentality, but uh, I think the other thing is we've got to keep them off the offensive boards, and we can do those two things, and it's going to be a great ball game. The FSU chapter of Zeta Tau Alpha and Florida State Athletics are teaming up this year to help raise money for Zeta Tau Alpha Foundation with a weekend full of fun. Here's two ways you can help. Put your best foot forward. Saturday, February 21st with Zeta Tau Alpha as we host our fifth annual Race to Live, Fun Walk, and 5K Run. Then on Sunday, February 22nd, there will be a Breast Cancer Survivor Brunch and FSU versus Miami Women's Basketball Game. Help paint the town pink as we raise money for breast cancer education and awareness.